The highly anticipated turkey bread video is up. I love making fun and creative videos and this was no exception. Look how amazing this turkey looks. It looks just like a real turkey. Someone was trying to be funny and told me it looked a little dry. Of course, it's bread. But to be truthful, it is moist and fluffy. And as you can see, I was extremely excited about this turkey and stay until the end because I'm going to carve it. I just know if you make this turkey and take it to Thanksgiving or to someone's dinner, it will make such a great conversation piece and you will remember this forever. I'm sure it will end up all over Instagram and Facebook. And without further ado, let's get started making this turkey. One cup of lukewarm water, sugar, yeast, stir. Leave that for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is how your yeast should look. If it doesn't look like this, you need to throw it out and start over. Mine looks perfect, so here I'm adding the oil and I'm adding the salt. And this is optional, but I added herbs. Garlic powder, thyme, basil, oregano, and rosemary. Next, I'm adding all of the flour at one time. I'm giving it a little stir. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my KitchenAid mixer and I'm gonna put the dough attachment on it, this one. Okay. I started it at a two and then I went up to a four and I let it go for about 10 minutes. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer and you're doing it by hand, it's going to be the same thing. You're going to need it for about 10 minutes. Okay, so it's very smooth. It doesn't stick. We're gonna let it rest 30 minutes. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the top and I'm gonna cover it with a damp paper towel. Now that it's rested for 30 minutes, it's about doubled in size. I'm going to take it directly out of the bowl and I'm gonna put it on the pan that I'm going to be working on. Don't knead it or anything, just leave it like that. The first step to shaping your turkey, you're going to leave it as an oval, kind of like an egg shape. The top is gonna be a little bit rounder, the bottom is going to be slightly smaller. Next, you're going to cut straight lines down the edge of the oval on both sides. You can use a knife or a bench scraper just to make it straight, but then I went in and I used scissors. I did end up cutting some of the turkey wing pieces because I thought they were just way too big and the turkey wings need to be really small. So feel free to cut it and then I'll show you how to shape the turkey wing. It was actually very, very easy. Next, you're gonna cut the bottom of the oval in a V shape. Try to make it symmetrical. These two pieces are going to be the turkey legs. Rub them between your hands, try to make them have that drumstick shape, and this is a pro tip. Make the legs kind of skinny, especially towards the bottom, because they are going to puff up quite a bit. The way you're going to shape your turkey wings and your turkey leg, kind of pretend that it's a skinny turkey and kind of a long turkey and that's going to help you 
really get that beautiful shape. To shape the turkey wing, all you're going to do is tuck in your index finger and then roll over the wing side onto the actual turkey breast piece, and that's it. Then I took some scissors and I made very small cuts on the edge of the wing just to make it look a little bit more realistic, but honestly, none of this has to be perfect. The shape of the turkey is going to puff up anyway, so the turkey is going to be fine just like this. Then I took a sharp knife and I scored it right down the middle. It's a very thin cut, so maybe about a quarter of a centimeter. Don't cut it too deep. For the egg wash, I just took one egg. I scrambled it really well with a fork and then I brushed it all over top of the turkey. If you skip this step, it's not gonna brown. This egg wash is what makes the turkey look that beautiful color. Finally, you're just going to let it rest for 30 minutes and then you're going to place it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or until it's brown enough. I love it. Look how it came out. It almost looks kind of juicy. Here is the fun part. I'm gonna cut into it. I almost don't want to because it's just so beautiful. Who wants a leg? Oh my gosh, I can't even believe I'm cutting into it. <laughs> Look at the leg! Look at that leg. show you what the inside looks like oh it came out re oh it's so soft let's take a slice I'm definitely gonna be making this for Thanksgiving it's gonna be very confusing there's gonna be two turkeys oh, look how beautiful oh that's gorgeous okay so this is the leg right here I'm just adding some butter to the leg. That looks just like a turkey leg. It smells really good. Let's carve this turkey. I know that you want to see it carved. I think I'm going to cut it in half now. gorgeous bread and you can definitely see all the herbs that we used. Oh, this bread is amazing. Look how fluffy that is. We are definitely going to make some beautiful sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. Ironically, turkey sandwiches out of this turkey bread. Certainly hope that you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.